every Christmas day, we always have pigs in blankets, or as you probably call it, relatives sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> tradition in our family that we always have a Christmas jumper and then it's my job to talk them down. <laughs> I didn't know what to get my little niece for Christmas so I asked my sister what she's into. Apparently at the moment she's mad about frozen stuff so I got her some oven chips and peas. <laughs> I went to buy a Christmas tree. The guy said, are you going to put it up yourself? I said, no, I was thinking the living room. Christmas morning, we'd always wake up and go, has he been, has he been, has he been? Because we knew Dad wouldn't put the presents out until after he'd had a shit. <laughs> it wasn't the jingling of bells we listened out for in our house, believe you me. <laughs> me and my little sister under the covers, I think I can hear Santa straining. <laughs> I think I can smell his reindeer. <laughs> This year I switched the lights on in Carlisle. Oh. It's nothing to do with Christmas, but they've got electricity now, so that's good. <laughs> I bought an advent calendar for Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Behind every door, somebody tells you to piss off. <laughs> I bought a Travelodge advent calendar. It's still got chocolate in, but you can't open the windows. <laughs> I got a Microsoft advent calendar. You open too many windows at once and they all shut again for no bloody reason. <laughs> Friend of mine's been suffering from paranoid delusions and now he thinks he's a chocolate orange. I worry he's gonna be sectioned. Poor Terry. <laughs> In my last job, I just used to punch buttons all day, and that's why I'm no longer allowed to do panto. <laughs> New Year's a time for getting healthier, isn't it? You know. Next year, I've decided that I'm going to do dry January and see if I can manage an entire month without any foreplay. Christmas is a time for all the family to get together, isn't it? You know. This Christmas I'm taking the whole family to Lapland, which is great, because normally those clubs don't let kids in. <laughs> Whenever I see a respected actor in Panto, I always like to shout, it's beneath you! <laughs> of course, Christmas can put a lot of strain on relationships, can't it? It really can, you know. But my wife and I are a great match because I've got a nine-inch penis and she doesn't know which way around to hold a ruler. <laughs> Hello, that was a clip from uh, Comedy Club Classics 2000-2013, which is basically my old first tour, and the full version of that is available as a free download to everybody who is on my mailing list on the 18th of January 2021. If you're not on, you can join up at my mailing list, garydelaney.com. Also, I have a new tour that has just gone on sale, which kicks off in summer of 2021 and will carry on for quite a while. Uh, there's loads of dates on sale. There's some towns missing as yet uh, because they, we can't add them due to Corona, but we will as they come back online. So don't worry, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, etc. We haven't forgotten about you. Again, dates are at garydelaney.com. Uh, if your town isn't there yet, you can sign up and get an alert when it is added. And the same for if your town is there, but it's already sold out really quickly because it was socially distanced. As those social distancing regulations drop and more tickets become available, you'll get an email. Also, I have a book on sale, which is this one, The Gary Laney Fundamentalist. Uh, it's available now, makes a great Christmas present, etc., etc., and is available in places that sell books. It makes a good present. That's what I'd say. There you go. That's all the business finished. Thanks for watching. I've been Gary. Tarara bit.